um, we got together as a, as a small group and we started looking at uh, and collecting uh, old photographs and, and I must say we had a most enjoyable time, an enormous number uh, of uh, sources of these photographs. Uh, we had to obviously select what was appropriate to Henrietta's book and that I hope you will acknowledge we've done. Um, we had a great time um, and uh, we have thoroughly enjoyed it, we hope you enjoy it as well. It gives, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Sheila Dumain, um, wife of the late Alan Dumain, who as you probably all know um, was a great local historian and wrote <coughs> three books about South Bay Palms Green and Wilson. Can I hand you over to Sheila then to do the film? Okay, thank you. Good afternoon everyone. You know, before I say the magic words, may I let you know how honoured I feel in being asked uh, by my friend Brian to open today's exhibition here at the Friends Meeting House. As uh, Brian has just said, many probably will have heard of my late husband Alan. And, but I would like to add that uh, Alan held Winchmore Hill very close to his heart. We both grew up in the district, or should I say village. Uh, Alan lived in Farm Road and went to Winchmore School, later living in Seaforth Gardens, and I lived in the Alders and went to the old um, St Paul's Church School, which was situated by the church just over the road there. Uh, we met at a dance in 49, held at the old St Paul's Institute in Station Road, which is now the General Post Office. Uh, we married in 52 at the then Congregational Church at the top of Compton Road. And for the first six years of our married life, we lived in Park Drive before moving to Southgate, where I still reside. Alan would have loved this festival week. Local history was his life. When he retired, he was able to relive all his memories in the three books that he wrote. This exhibition reflects these memories and indeed some of the photographs are from his archives. You know, I think that he and Henrietta Creswell would have got on famously together, <laughs> sharing their love with Winchmore Hill. I have a feeling that they may well be looking down together with pleasure at all this week's festivities. Now before I go any further, I must ask you all to put your hands together to show your appreciation and thanks to all the organisers of this wonderful week of looking back in time. They have worked so hard to give us so much pleasure. Thank you. Sheila, look this way, love. <laughs> Some blunt scissors you've done there. <laughs> Good, well done. Right, everybody, thanks very much.